evening. Thank you all so much. Uh, we've got a wonderful evening planned for you. As I mentioned earlier, uh, we have 10 speakers. They're going to move through 20 slides each in five minutes. The slides are going to advance automatically. And they're each going to tell you a story. And each one of them has an incredibly powerful story. Every one of these 10 speakers means something to me personally. And I think by the end of the night, you'll really understand why. You're going to hear about a wide variety of issues, social issues that we're facing. And we're going to hear about solutions. Every single one of them is doing fantastic work uh, in their own unique and special way. And every single one of them carries a lot of weight. Uh, I know you know what I mean when you meet these people in your world. And uh, they just knock your socks off. So um, I'm really looking forward to this evening. Uh, and I hope that you will enjoy it. Um, right now, it is my pleasure and my honor to introduce to you uh, the mayor of Phoenix, Mayor Greg Stanton. Thank you. <laughs> mayor Stanton has been a longtime and uh, very vocal proponent of independent businesses and local First Arizona specifically for many, many years since he was a council member. I've worked alongside him for years. We've put together task forces. We've worked on sustainability issues. We've worked on the adaptive reuse program that you all know about. And I'm going to let him tell you about uh, some of the things that make this place, Phoenix, very special. Please welcome Mayor Greg Stanton. All right. Good evening, everyone. Welcome to Phoenix. Isn't this a beautiful Orpheum Theater in downtown Phoenix? Great example of historic preservation. I have learned during my time as mayor. You want to be a successful mayor of Phoenix? Just do what Kimber tells you to do. It makes life a lot easier. Everything goes smoothly. The city advances a lot faster. She's a gem, and I'll tell you more about that in just a moment. But I want to, as mayor of the city, welcome everyone from around the country who are here for this incredible Bali conference in downtown Phoenix. What local first Arizona does for Phoenix makes us a stronger city. What you do in your respective communities as passionate localists makes your community stronger and therefore we are a stronger country because of the work that you do in this audience. Give yourselves a big round of applause. You understand that our economy is stronger when we're supporting the health, prosperity, and happiness of our local businesses, community leaders, our local organizations. I just want to say here with us tonight are two champions that I'm lucky enough to serve with on the City Council because it takes five votes on the Phoenix City Council to get things done. Kimber knows how to count to five and beyond. Uh, two of my partners on the City Council are here, Councilwoman Kate Gallego and Vice Mayor Danny Valenzuela, wherever you are. Thank you for being such great partners. And of course, I and all of the City of Phoenix owe Kimber Lanning a sincere debt of gratitude not only for bringing this awesome conference to our city, but because she lives, breathes, eats, drinks. She's a localist. She's hardcore. She's the founder and executive director of our localist organization, Local First Arizona. She's a successful entrepreneur and economic specialist, and I am convinced that there is nothing that she can't do. And not just because she's the founder and leader of Local First Arizona. We are experiencing an incredible renaissance in our downtown. This is a fun time to be mayor, fun time to be a leader in our community. But if I were to pinpoint uh, the time that the renaissance began, Kimber, it's when you opened Modified Arts on Roosevelt Row uh, many years ago. That will go down in the history books as a courageous decision and we have come a long way uh, since then. So when Kimber first told me about the Bali Conference was coming to Phoenix, I personally was very excited. What a great opportunity to share our experiences and ideas about strengthening local economies. Incredible opportunity to hear from leaders across this country who share that vision. You are doing such meaningful work in your respective cities and industries. And that is inspiring to us here in Phoenix. It's inspiring to us as a community, but it's also inspiring to me as an elected official. It's your hard work, your creative ideas, your entrepreneurial spirit and organizations that aspire us as elected officials to create public policies that support and grow our local economy. We understand the critical role 
that you play in our community and in your local community. So I just say thank you. Here in Phoenix, we spent a lot of time working together to revitalize our center city, the heart of this community. And in doing so, we've created an urban environment where local businesses are thriving. We found ways to preserve our historic character and charm through a robust adaptive reuse uh, program, mainly authored by Kimber Lanning, which allows us to cut through red tape and breathe new life into older buildings. We've made smart investments in public transportation, and we're about to expand our light rail system when the voters of Phoenix vote yes on the Move Phoenix initiative, and we're gonna triple the amount of light rail in the city of Phoenix. And what Kimber taught us is to put people first. We have sent a message that Phoenix is open to everyone. Uh, two years in a row, we have earned a perfect score as a city from the Human Rights Campaign Equality Index, which is a measure to show how much, thank you, cities are doing to support inclusive policies. It is a priority for our city. It is great for business here in Phoenix, Arizona. Together, we are ensuring that everyone feels welcome in our city. We're embracing and promoting our vibrant and diverse arts and culture communities. And you're gonna to hear tonight from some incredible individuals who are helping to shape our local culture. There are some incredibly inspiring and passionate local thought leaders who are making a huge impact on the future of our city and our uh, economy. So uh, as mayor, I'm excited to help to host this uh, conference and I'm excited to sit right down in that audience and hear from these incredible thought leaders. Thank you, Rabali leader, for being here in Phoenix. It's gonna be a great conference. So uh, thank you, Mayor, for your ongoing support and belief in uh, local economy work. Without further ado, we are going to get started. Welcome to Phoenix Sparks. Thank you. Mm -hmm.